Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I finished the roof while I was gone because, you know, it's probably nothing you want to watch anyway. And, oh, there's some mobs outside. I did go down into the mine and I dug out 50 blocks in both directions and managed to get 12 diamonds. So, well, actually, I got 8 diamonds. There were 4 already that I had from the cave. And, uh, let's go ahead and make a diamond pick. And probably a diamond sword, and it just turns out that I have enough sticks for that. Da -na -na -na. That was terrible. <laughs> terrible attempt at a Zelda noise. But okay, let's just toss those in there and those. And I wanted to, see, you know, good. I don't like repairing things if it repairs them all the way, like past the full, whatever, because it just seems like a waste to me. I grabbed a lava bucket from down in the lava pool. But oh, I wanted to put this down there, but I forgot. And I did, uh, I put a block there, and it hasn't grown back. And I don't think it's going to, probably because it's up here. I was thinking about putting, uh, some glass here, just running along, so we could see out the roof. I think that might be kind of cool. Um, not really sure, though, because, like, if I... I could put it right on this line here, like, in line with these blocks here. Like, oh, no, not there. Like, there. Um, and just have it flat all the way across, and we'd have, like, a, you know, windows on both sides and on top. I think that might be neat. Hello. But I'm not really sure. I mean, or we could put it up actually, like, above in this thing here, and then just have it come back down here so we'd have some recessed glass. But that might look a little weird from the outside, so. I don't know. The roof is just pretty simple, um, sloped pattern that just ties in from over here to up there and everything. So it's it's nothing particularly special. And when I say it ties in, I just mean, like, it doesn't... I was thinking about maybe having it come back down here and then come back up for this so that this one would just be the flat square thing and then this one would just be the flat whatever. But that way it would... Like, this line right here would be on this level and then this one would go up and this block wouldn't be here. It would go up like that. But then I thought that might look weird, so I just joined it together. Like, kind of like what I did over here, is what I was thinking about doing over there. But actually, you know what, this looks silly. Let's, let's fix that. And I kind of went a little crazy with the torches because, um, I, I wasn't sure what to do, um, for lighting. So I just, like, I, I know, I counted out the lighting and I made sure that everything fits right and has enough lighting for, to make sure that, you know, nothing will spawn, but, um... Regardless, it's it requires a lot of torches, which eventually we'll be able to get rid of. But yeah, see, this looks a little bit better than it did before, I think, because this way it 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 blends in together, kind of thing, you know. This is going to be a tower eventually, but I just wanted to put a roof on it for now. Um, this probably won't be a tower, and you know, I hesitate now that I see this this look on the roof. I don't know. I might just make it flat. I like flat roofs because you can fill them with glass. But then again, I might just be putting um some stairs up here and make it look all nice, maybe even wooden stairs. I want to make the floor inside out of wood and totally forget what time it was when I started recording. <sighs> okay. Um, well, I just slept, which is why there were enemies out here. So, as soon as it gets night time, I'll just call it a day there. Or something, I guess. I almost, I almost thought that was a pun for a second and I was like, oh no, it's not. It's just, it's just words. That's all it is. Uh, let's see. There's that. Uh, we should make an enchanting table. Do you have... I need reeds. <laughs> do, 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 do. Am I in? Yeah, we're on 2.5. Okay. Why did I go this way? Oh, reeds. Right. I, I forgot. <laughs> like, I ran in this direction, and I don't really know why. I mean, consciously, I know there's reeds over here, but I just hadn't thought about it. I just ran this way when I said I needed reeds. And there, I can only get one from this one. That's stupid. All right, let's hop on over here. Go for a little swim in the desert river thing. Shouldn't it be a little bit more fertile over here? I mean, I understand we're in the desert, but it, it's a river. Usually deserts don't have rivers, or else it's not a desert. Or at least not the area around it, I don't think. Is it? I have no idea. I've never been to Egypt. What's it like there? Is it all green on the Nile? 
Or is it all sandy with cactuses everywhere? <laughs> Do they have cactuses in, in, like, the African desert? Or is that, like... Because I know there's cactuses in the American deserts. Uh, but... I don't know how it would have gotten across the ocean. Is the problem. Like, it's one thing to have one plant all across, you know, one continent. Or even two, if you count North and South America. Because they're connected, technically. Um, and, uh... I, I don't really know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> um... I gotta. I want to put a wooden floor underneath the house. I still need to fix these things, but it'll take a while. I've been worried about sleeping, which is uh, every night, which is why I made the uh, whoop, the clock, because I keep barely making it to bed, and there's zombies everywhere, and they attack villagers and stuff, and it's not good. So, um, yeah, I made the clock just so that I could take it down in my mind with me and sleep when it gets to be nighttime. Didn't work very well. <laughs> Totally forgot. It was like midnight by the time I remembered, and then I quickly threw it down and ran back up. Doesn't look like any of the villagers have died, though, so... Or, at the very least, um... I think I saw one zombie wandering around, but he, uh... I don't remember seeing any doors knocked off, so I think everything was fine. What were we doing? Right. We need obsidian. Which, there's actually lava right out here, so we can do that. Without having to go all the way down to our mine. I'm probably just chicken. You're not in a good place right there, you know. <laughs> just get out of there. Get. Get out of there. There you go, buddy. Be free. Um, should I turn all this to obsidian, or should I just, like, do this? I think I'll just do this. It's easier. Less annoying. I think. I don't really know. Hmm. Or we could just do that. There we go. Problem solved. Well, kind of. I don't know how I'm going to get those out of there. I suppose I could just, uh... Yay. Do that and that. Yay! Problem solved again! Unless there's lava underneath this one. Don't be lava underneath this one. Don't be lava underneath this one. Come on. Come on. Here we go. I doubt there's going to be lava underneath, underneath this one. Watch there actually be lava underneath this one, and then I'm just going to be like, Oh, I was wrong. And not much else, because, you know... Oh, there you go. There you go. Okay, uh, sorry I've, <laughs> I've been neglecting to upload videos lately. I've been playing a lot of Diablo. Um, it's a fantastic game. I beat, through, I beat the game once, and now I'm going through it a second time on Nightmare on a wizard. So that's fun. Um... <laughs> If you guys want to play with me, just let me know. Send me a message and I'll give you a friend invite. Um, what was I doing? Right. Right. I knew that. Uh -huh. So that's awesome game. Definitely worth it. <laughs> uh, the only problem is that I keep getting, like... The multiplayer, it, it's definitely more fun when there's a lot of people, because there's a lot of monsters and it's really hard, especially on Nightmare Mode. Uh, like, I feel like on Nightmare Mode, the difficulty scales more per person than it does normally. Um, or, like, on normal mode. Which would make sense, because it is nightmare mode. But, uh, like, I don't know. It's hard to explain. But I finally got my wizard to be really powerful. I, I'm here I am playing Minecraft, talking about other games. Um, I got my wizard to be really powerful because, uh... He, wow, that's, that's alright. It's not bad. Um, originally... I was going all int, which is good for damage, but not good if you start getting hit. And uh, I started getting hit, and that didn't end well. So um, I ended up uh, a little one enchantment efficiency. Sweet. Um, after a while, like once I'd already beaten through the game, I decided to uh, start getting a bit more health, and it's gotten to the point where I've got almost... I don't want to say even, almost even. I've got like 600 int and like 500 vitality, but it works pretty well. Uh, most things, well actually I just started having problems with uh, surviving by myself, which is unfortunate. It's a lot easier when you have friends nearby because 
you know, they can tank everything for you while you just destroy stuff. Uh, particularly if you have a monk or a barbarian. I actually had a witch doctor that I was playing with one time, and I was uh, letting him tank everything. So <laughs> he would just, he would run over and start fighting things, and I would just get behind him and start throwing in spells. So I, I did, like, trying to play, I did try to play as, like, a melee mage, which didn't go very well either. Uh, it worked fine by myself on normal mode, but once the mobs started getting harder, and or it, with a lot of mobs because there were more people in the game, it didn't go so well. And I wouldn't suggest you try it. Well, then again, it's actually really fun, because there's a lot of close-range spells that you can just run in and throw them all over the place. Anyway, so that's me talking about Diablo. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Next time, I'll try to think of something we can do, like... Hmm, I need wood. Hmm. I don't know. We'll go back down into the cave now that we've got some cool stuff. Do some exploring down there. I have a bunch of coal, actually. I moved a bunch of the good stuff over here, like all of the stone and uh, iron and stuff, and coal, all over here, because I figured I'd need it for mining or whatever, and building and stuff all over here. So that's cool. Uh, maybe next episode we'll start building the ta uh, well, oh, I, I, <coughs> excuse me, I forgot to mention, um, I am doing Vex's latest map, it's not a super hostile, it's another one of his book things, I don't, did I ever do one of the last one? There was a gift map, I can't remember if I did something, it was really hard, I, I remember that, but I don't remember if I actually recorded it or not, I, I want to say I didn't, but I really have no idea, um, I thought I did. If I, I wouldn't, I don't know why I wouldn't have. But anyway, um, he's doing another map based on books, or like a book thing, and uh, or he did another map based on a book, whatever. And it's, uh, I, I just started it. I've only, rec I've only just recorded the first episode, but I'm gonna record another episode probably after this one, unless I go play Diablo again, in which case, whatever. But uh, I'm gonna be staggering those so that I'll alternate between those episodes and these episodes, so that way, you know. You don't have to sit there and only get the 30-minute videos that you don't have time to watch or whatever. Um, and uh, that should be that should be good for everybody involved. Okay, so thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.